Number 17 then from paper 2 of the 2018 National 5 Maths. Here we go, area question here. We've got a sector of a circle inside a triangle. You have to find the area of this part outside of the sector, the shaded area here. It gives you various sizes. That angle is 75. The radius of this circle is 30. This is all in centimetres. The length of the side OB, I'll just put it here, is 38. And the length of the side OC, I'll put it here, is 55. What's the area of that shaded region? Well, that would just be the whole triangle. Take away the sector. So, which bit first? Do the sector first. Area of the sector. Well, it's a fraction of a circle. It's 75 degrees of a circle. I think I'll just go straight in with it. So it's 75 out of 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi times r squared. But I think I'll just go in with 30 squared. So I'll just put that in my calculator. And... That comes to 589.048 and so on. I think I'll just take them to two decimal places just now. Now the triangle. Well, it's not a right angle triangle. You don't know the height, so you can't use a half base times height. It's going to be that formula. It's going to be a half A B sine C. But I think I'm just going to go in with a half of 38 times 55 times the sine of the angle in between. Oh, I didn't put a formula there or there. So that comes to 1009.392 and so on. And I'll round it off to 1009.39. Of course, that was centimetres squared. Centimetres squared. So they were calling it area A, B, C, D. Well, that'll just be the difference between them. 1009.39 minus 589.05. And that comes to 420.34 and at this point I'll probably just take it down to 420.3 centimetres squared. Question 18 then, the last question in paper 2 of the 2018 National 5 exam then, similar shapes. Ratios, linear ratios, area ratios, volume ratios. What does it say? There's two cartons of popcorn here. That's <laughs> very good. The small carton is 16 centimetres deep with a volume of 576. The large carton's 24 and it's got a volume of 1125. Show that they're not mathematically similar. Well, there's several ways of doing that. You could work out what the ratio should have been and compare it to the actual ratio, or you could ignore that answer and work out what the volume should be and compare it to that answer. See, I do the linear ratio. I need the linear ratio either way, so I'll just put linear ratio. What is the linear ratio? It's 16 to 24. So divide by 8, that's 2 to 3. That means the volume ratio should be the cube of that. So the ratio of the volumes should be 8 to 27. Are they in the ratio of 8 to 27? Well, let's find out what they are. It's 5, 7, oops, 6 to 11, 25. Just use your calculator to knock that down. 5, 7, 6 divided by 1, 1, 2, 5. That comes out as 64 to 1, 2, 5. Now, that ratio is not the same as that ratio. You don't really need to take them to the same denominator. If two fractions are in their fully simplified forms, if the numbers are different, the fractions are different. So I could compare them by saying this. 
8 over 27 is not equal to 64 over 125. You don't need to make them into the same denominator because they're both fully simplified. And if that's the case, that means the tubs are not mathematically similar. However, if you weren't happy doing that, you could just have worked out the volume of the large one. The volume of the large one should have been, now if this is the ratio that it should have, if it's similar, the large one should be 27 upon 8 times 576. which is 1944. So now you can say this. 1125 is certainly not equal to 1944. That's a lot less. Which means, as before, Now part B just for two marks here. The large cartons redesigned so the cartons are now mathematically similar. This one is now 1500, it's bigger, it's 1500 cubic centimetres. If that's the case, what's the height of the redesigned one? Because what does this say to begin with anyway? It says a cinema. <laughs> A cinema sells, who buys their popcorn in a cinema? It must be mad. You see those volumes? Those would be actual prices you would pay. Small tub of popcorn, that would be 5 76 Big tub, that's 11 25 Oh wait, they're not mathematically similar. Let's make this tub mathematically similar for you, because we know you're a bit fussy, and we'll redesign it so that actually works. So it's now 1500 There, that'll fit nicely inside that, because it is mathematically similar. That'll cost you £15, thank you. Anyway, what should be the height? Well, this time I know those two things are in the correct ratio. So I know that the volume ratio is 576 to 1500. You don't need to cancel it down. I'll just do that anyway. And that comes to 48 to 125 which means that the linear ratio, now this time I'm going backwards, if I knew the linear ratio, I cubed them. So if I know the volume ratio, I'll have to uncube them. It'll be the cube root of those. Cube root of 48, but it wasn't 27, now that's five. I could have left it as the cube root of one, two, five. You can do that if you like. But now that I know the linear ratio, you can work out the height because the height of this one will be bigger than that, so I'm putting the bigger number on top. Ah, maybe I will just go back with those. 125 over 48, because it was clearer there. But it's going to be the cube root of all of that, times the 16. Well, you could have put five over the cube root of 48 here. You probably just, or you could just have left it as 1500 over 576 here. So, cube root button. And you get 22.01 and so on. So I'll say the new height should be 22.0 centimetres. There we go.